Okay, hey everyone, welcome devs uh, to the last meeting of the year 2024. <laughs> Mixed feelings, like we've come a long way this year. We've done amazing things together and the year is closing. But then um, I'm happy that the year is closing because it signals like the end of an era in quotes and then the, the the i'm anticipating the freshness that comes with the new year uh so i welcome you to this meeting let me see your reaction what's what's your reaction about this <laughs> if you can react your reactions okay all right okay let me let me share my screen so that we can mm -hmm. um prince are you still there okay i want to ask if this is his first time of being here okay all right so what we are going to be doing today so we don't have um we don't have a lot of agenda what we are going to be doing is basically just reviewing the year we will be reviewing the year and what, what does that mean what does that entail so i want us to look over the year as software oh, developers yes many talk has been done Sorry, Prince. What did you say? Uh, I heard you call my name. Apologies, my network has been. Mm, no problem. I, I, okay. I was asking if this is your first um, time being in the meeting. The developer meeting, yes. For this meeting, it was my first time for this meeting. Yes. Ah, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Prince. Um, and it's so funny that it, that's the last meeting for the year. <laughs> it's a good one <laughs> all right um can you quickly introduce yourself like okay what do you do or you're okay, where do you where do you stay what do you do if you're comfortable uh, my, to talk about it uh prince stay in lagos currently okay. uh what do i do i'm more into products Technical PM. Um, okay. I build like mobile apps, but I also have like a very strong domain in like data, so SQLs and stuff. But yeah, yeah, basic stuff, stuff. So nice, so nice. When did you join KS? Uh, I think November ish. November ish. Oh. At the end of the year. The year was closing out i just joined and i'll be trying to catch up as much as possible so nice so you've been joining the general meetings right and i joined once or twice i had issues with my calendar so trying to think the calendar to mine mm. okay i've been having i was able to do that it was already like in the most mid -prey. end of november so a lot of meetings a lot of people are not attending a lot of meetings anymore so, yeah Good. Okay, so maybe during the break you can then um, sync your calendar, find a way to make it work and sync it to the general chaos calendar. Yeah, 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 I did that. That's why this popped up my calendar today. Oh, okay, 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 nice, nice. Thank you very much, Prince. Welcome. This is the developers' uh, focus group meeting. We usually meet bi weekly. On, on Thursdays at 3 p.m. West African time. Uh, one way to keep it in your mind is that um, we usually alternate it with um, Chaos Africa meetings, sync meetings. So if we have Chaos Africa sync meeting did today, then it's the developers meeting the following week, you know, like that. So <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, what I, I, I was saying, um before you was that um so this is the last meeting of the year and i thought that you know, like, 
news to end of year review. Um, into the year, you know, just try to um, go over what we have done so far, how far we have come, how good was it, what remains to be done, and how can we do things better so that we can then start that next year with energy in the grand journey. <laughs> So, um, I think I would like to call gift first. Yes, gift. Please go ahead. What was good this year in relation to the Dev Focus Group for you? Well, um, this year, I want to be more active and more to the dev wise to chaos uh, i think that was my highlight of being in chaos i've been in chaos for like a year but this was the year that i actually put in more efforts and i was contributing code wise and um, i even spoke on uh, october first and it was amazing i was happy to do that so yeah my highlight was um working as contributing to the badging project contributing to the Air Force project also contributing to the education project and um, being active during the October verse season. Nice, so nice, so nice. So, um, as a group, how did you, how do you feel about the group? The way we work together. What do you think is great about the team, and what you think uh, we should look at? doing maybe going forward so that we can improve and be better well um i think it was great um with the whole contribution for example it wasn't difficult for me to start contributing code right away and when there were like things that needed to be explained for that there was you weren't shy to like have a meeting with me and like show me the ropes on what to do, how to do it, so right to come out the right way it's supposed to. So I liked that. I like that we had meetings to talk about projects and understand and be on the same um playing field. Then um if there's anything maybe we could improve on, maybe it could be um communication on some projects. Um communication when I was working with the budget project was fine, but with the Air Force project, it wasn't exactly fine because it's as if the project wasn't active. And nobody was saying anything. I had a pull request that was active for, I think, a month plus and all of that. So communication on that was really poor. But with the budget project, everything was fine, I think. Thank you very much. Uh, are you done? Yes. Oh, OK. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, honestly, <laughs> I would like to actually commend you because um, when we had a feature that we wanted to implement in the budget project, you as the front-end developer really saved the day because that particular issue that you worked on, you it had it had been it had been um, it had been on since February this year. And even talks has been on it, like discussions has been on it since um, I think December or so. And then you came on board and in two weeks we were able to pull it off. It, it was so good, it was so good. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, concerning that, um, like improving on communication, I think I would leave that to the end. I'm sure this was why Mary Blessing was, is, is, is among us today, you know, to listen to what we can do to improve. And, you know, she's going to give us ideas. She's that amazing when it comes to ideation and also. I'm not afraid. Uh, Mary Blessing is going to provide us a lot of um, ideas on how we can move forward. Um, let, 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 let's just go around and talk about everything and then we'll discuss about what we can do. Okay, so Winifred. Yeah, um, I didn't contribute to the developers um, as a dev this year. I've not picked up JavaScript yet. 
um, hopefully next year. Uh, but I think I like the fact that I um, took up like peer programming. Uh, I don't know how far how that works well, but I think I like that one as somebody who usually does better with um, body doubling. It did seem to make more sense to have somebody like work with somebody live better as well. So that's it for me. Okay, thank you. Were you able to contribute in other ways? Yes, I was. In, nice. in what way? Education, budget, technical rights. Education, budget? Yeah, technical rights. Oh, great, great. Okay. So, what do you think we can improve, you know, from your own lens? What do you think? I'm sorry, I don't have anything in my mind right, in my mind right now. Sorry? I don't have anything off the top of my head right now. Okay. Okay. No problem. Um, Prince, would you like... Ah. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, okay, just not to exclude you, would you like to say something? I know this is your first time. <laughs> I just don't want to exclude you. I don't even know the stack people are using, so <laughs> please kindly exclude me. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so so um, we depending on the project, we have some projects that use Python. We have some projects that use um, JavaScript, Node.js, um, React. So. The reason why Gifts wasn't able to contribute code, which pains me till now, is that we don't have the um, project in, in other languages apart from JavaScript and Python. So probably ideas are going to come in next year and, you know, it's going to, um, what I mean is pro we'll have projects that would really help um, developers from, from that, that are write other languages to be able to contribute code. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> okay, so for me, uh, um, you said something? Yeah, I'm like, okay, okay. Like, I just, I just realized that uh, you guys don't use my stuff, which is fine. Like you said, next year, a lot of possibilities for next year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what stack, what stack do you use? Um, so I usually use Dart, Swift, and Kotlin. So yeah, it's not... so th those are those are mobile apps languages, right? For yeah, for now, yeah. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Hmm. So maybe an idea might just come up depending on the need of the community that would require us to be the mobile app. We might never know. Let's just keep our okay. fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So for me, what went well, I, I think that um, the fact that we were able to even get like a feature that has been sitting for a while, we're able to get it done, implemented. Um, it's like a, a big win for us as developers in Chaos Africa. Um, if you if you attend the budget um, uh, focus group, the working group, the uh, WEI working group, that sorry, the DEI working group. So it's DEI WG, <laughs> the DEI working group, and you hear them talk about the budget project. Uh, it's really. Um, so good to hear the excitement, you know, in the house because they, they see a lot of progress with the projects that we are doing and the developers that are that are that are um that are behind such progress. So it's even easy to now begin to dream to say, Oh, we have committed and dedicated developers in the house. So what else can we do? What else can we hard to make um make us better as as a community to make us um, even do better stuff um in chaos right because there are 
people who are willing and committed to the work that is at hand so thank you so much everyone because i as the lead i couldn't have pulled it off on my own i couldn't i couldn't and i always let them know in the working group that this thing was done by a lot and lot um of people so 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 person came together for hours for weeks you know to get this done so i uh, it's 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 for those that are here and those that are not here i would like to say thank you so much for bringing your skills to the table to let us move the development project in chaos forward there were some that we couldn't implement this year um one would be the half force um and um, the others will be probably hogger and uh, grimo lab and those ones are usually due to the fact that uh, so probably some issues on ground like documentation you know availability of someone to actually take ownership of the project and um i wouldn't say ogre and grimo lab are external project they are not but um, they are being maintained by an organization that is um, a partner or is supporting chaos and that's um, the Britager. So there is still a lot of um, um, understanding that needs to be done for developers. What I mean by that is we need a lot of documentation, a lot of workshops to even understand what is going on with those two projects before people can begin to contribute to it. They are Python projects. So what we are looking at doing next year is to find a project manager from our group of project managers currently that we currently have that will take ownership of those projects once they take ownership of those projects and they are able to um, give clear vision on where we are going what the project needs uh -huh, we are then able to break it down into technical um, goals that we can then take to the developers focus group to say oh guys this is what we need to get done um this is the next thing that we need to implement we create issues people go to the issues and have to be assigned and all that but without vision without project ownership it might be difficult so we will address that area <clears throat> next year all right uh what else what else what else what else so what i would really like to improve um that would be um you know, you made mention that, uh, okay, maybe the budget was fine and maybe some other projects we really didn't know so much about them because of communication. So I think what I would really love to improve is to improve on communication for those projects. Like you said, um, let there be more collaboration so that we are not working in silos. In fact, that's the word. And that's even the, the proposal that I proposed for the technical leads in the other projects that we don't want to work in silos. We will do better if all of us come together. You know. So it's a work in progress for everyone involved. And um, trust me, pe people that are, that are um, coordinating the other projects, they are also part of us. And um, maybe one thing or the other, uh, made them to be unavailable at that period. But then next year, I believe that there is Going to be more communication more collaboration coming up and then we'll be able to do better with um, communication so yes i i really look forward to that happening then for our developers focus group what i would like us to improve is our our um, i would love to see the, our developer community grow um I, i'm not sure mary blessing is still here is she still here no she's no longer here no she's not here okay so ah uh, okay hello mary blessing okay she's back mm, she's back 
Hello, Mary Blessing. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yes, hi. Oh, oh okay. So I was talking about um, what I feel we need to improve in our developers focus group meeting. I've said some stuff. I, I'm not sure if you, because you, you jumped off at some point. I'm not sure if you heard me, but this one, I really want you to hear this one that um, I would really love us to grow our developer community in chaos not just um growing for people to contribute alone but that even they themselves grow in their skills and in their in their knowledge and expertise such that you know when people grow in their knowledge and expertise they are even able to contribute better right so um that would surely be a goal for us next year to see how we can you know improve on our training provide workshops for people and you know essentially just grow our community so that's why i say i wanted to hear because i know you're a guru at building communities <laughs> oh oh yeah yeah that sounds really good and i think um i think Myself and Elizabeth we've talked about this at some point, and um, the, the some, something that looks or that looked very similar to this was when we brought um um, um Eroy to um to give a workshop in the DEI working group, right? Which was very helpful. I think I think you joined one of those sessions because she did two sessions with us, right, on two different occasions. So um so yeah that's that's really good. It's it's going to be beneficial for people to know that even in the working group, beyond them contributing their skills, they can also learn something out of it, right? So um yeah, it's it's a very great plan. And if you need my help in planning any of these sessions, I'm more than happy to to assist. Yeah. Hmm, nice. Nice. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so do you want to say something, you know, as somebody looking from the outside in, would you want to say something to us? Oh my God, what, what could I possibly yeah. say? <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I would love your insight, uh, your perspectives so that we, the goal is to do better, to improve, you know? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know, I know there was a point where, you know, um, even for you as a maintainer, you were struggling with um, having contributors, you know, jump on tax, right? Mm -hmm. um, yes. On issues on, on GW. So, um, I think, I think for for both of us here, yeah, I want to believe that this is I can hear you again. It's not clear. Oh my God. Um, Sorry. Is this, is this any better now? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So um, I, I, I was thinking that maybe one way that could be helpful in the growing of the developers uh, focus group uh, would be very, very helpful, right? So if people find out that they can learn more in the focus group. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There would be possibility of them, um, you know, coming around more to participate in both meetings and also participate in contributing as far, you know, their skills, right? Um, mm -hmm. That's also depending on us, you know, um, talking or, yes, talking about it in the right channels. Um, uh, we can work with the, the comms working group, to, you know, um, share or broadcast um, any of mm -hmm. these activities so that more people can show interest. And another mm -hmm. thing I've been meaning to talk to Elizabeth about is um, the renaming of channels. So I think sometimes, even for me as someone who does um, who does one-on-one um, -on -one tour guides with people, 
sometimes when I say, uh, maybe the non-Africans, for instance, when I say, oh, if you're a dev, you can join the... I, if, I, was, I, I always want to say the Developers Working Group, right? But then it's named Chaos Africa Dev. So it's always like... Mm. <laughs> it's, it's always like very... So I don't know if sometimes for them, if when they see the name, they kind of like... just have them. This, yeah, exactly. Mm. This idea, ideology that, oh, this is probably for just Africans, so I wouldn't be here, right? So I think for even for some of our working groups, we know majority of the people probably contributing are from Africa, and that's totally fine. But if we're going to make it as part of chaos, one body, I think it would make sense to rename it first so that people can feel inclusive enough to you know be a part of the focus group and also want to contribute so they don't feel excluded even before knowing the reason behind the naming right just seeing it or hearing it alone could make them feel um excluded that oh this is probably just for africans and mm. I, I don't know mm. how i'm supposed to you know um contribute or be a part of this focus group now right so but you can see things like the data science working group anybody can jump on it nobody thinks otherwise uh because it's just a very open group and it's not really said oh asia um, data science working group or um african data science working group do you get what i mean so i think mm-hmm. that would go a long way one then the trainings would really help then for those of us also like very committed um, we are always happy to hear people, folks talk about chaos. So you can feel free to talk about your contributions to chaos from the developer's perspective to other communities. So also encourage them to want to be a part of what we do, you know, specifically even like joining the, the, the developer's focus group, right? So that way, the, if the group is growing, there are more people to do stuff, right? And we're not, uh, we're not short of. I don't want to use short of talent, but yeah, we, we're not like the, like the difficulties I met. The difficulty I mentioned uh, earlier on, I think, uh, about you know yeah. people probably picking up plans and not yeah, yeah. So we just have enough, um, enough hands, you know, ready to do stuff and ready to like contribute, um, if and when needed. But I don't know if all I said makes sense, but yeah, I think it that's does. like um, how far I can I can share now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was so good. Uh, I've noted them down and it's something that we will work on in the new year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So does anyone want to add to this? Um, Winifred gave to the like to add. Are you done? to add to what Mary Blessing said, but I do agree with the the um, renaming of channels because okay. to other people who are not from Africa. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, I do agree with that. And yeah, I also think that like trainings will also help people mm-hmm. because most people who are usually very interested in open source, they are mostly beginners in tech. And if we also have things like training and all of that, also have much more um, good first issues that can encourage um, people who are just joining the project or people who are new to coding to actually participate mm. and be active in the dev group. Nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, Winifred, do you want to say anything to that? You want to hard? No, I agree with what I said. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm so looking forward to the new year. I know that um, fresh ideas are going to be popping up. We'll be revisiting some um, stuff that we didn't um, eventually do in 2024. The budget project still has a lot of work to be done and it um even they have first project and some other projects that we have on ground so um i believe that we'll be able to come together next year to provide direction for this project and then it's the ground running thank you everyone for coming 
I really, really do wish you happy holidays. Wishing you happy holiday too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye everyone. See you next year. See you. Bye. Bye.